They said the truth won't survive beside the lies that maintain the decaying faces of this place. You know, uh, right now there's about 186 subscribers. I just need y'all, if you can, I know the COVID's going on, but if you can, at least just put $5 in there. $5 on the Kickstarter and, and share it also, you know, because... We need to take this to fiction, you know. That's why you see them fighting and, uh, you know, putting men down on games and video games. They know that fiction is the last frontier. And that's why I need your support, man. I need you to go on Kickstarter and support Semptagen, you know. Hey, everybody, what's up? This is Hold the Truth Hostage, where if the truth was so important we wouldn't negotiate with lies now this video is part two of single mother debt single mother living debt now as i explained on the last video which you could watch is that what happens when a mother you know, when a mother decides to break up her family, be it with divorce or uh, child support, what happens is she becomes the embodiment of debt, living debt to her children. Because now, instead of her children being able to move on because their father would be taking care of their mother, they now have to sacrifice their resources for their future children to eventually help their mother that no that is now too old to take care of herself and without a father without their father present you know she is basically helpless and they'll have to take resources that could have went to their children to take care of their mother or to start a new family and also how this affects you as a man for example if you got into a relationship with a woman who who was raised by a single mother you would have to eventually take care of her her mother some shape or form because her mother has no father now imagine that, you know, it's in some communities, you got the black community, over set over 60% you have a single mother rate. Then other communities you have 50% and rising. So that means a lot of children, their mothers become the embodiment of living debt. Now, part two of this video. I'm going to be explaining to you the, and some of you might not be able to stomach this, you know, because the truth on this aspect is going to be very painful because it's going to really question the meaning of a fresh start. You know, it's going to really question what you have to do to actually save your family and actually start a new legacy now this is all assuming now let's just let's just assume that the laws are 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 just let's assume that you know the laws are right they're not biased you know you don't have to worry about you know being put on child support without reasonable means you know, such as domestic violence or anything like that. For example, your your uh, children's mother would have to prove that there's a reason you need to be removed from your children so she could collect child support. And, uh, you know, a divorce, and um, I think RPM said it best with this one, that, you know, if she filed for divorce, she has to pay for it. You know what I mean? So let's assume, let's assume all the laws are just between man and woman. Even if all the laws are just, it doesn't change the fact that if you're in a relationship and your mother was a single mother, she will still be 
the living embodiment of debt. At some point, you're going to have to worry about taking care of your uh, your single, you know, your mother that's a single mother, you know, or aiding in some shape or form to help the single mother of your wife. Now, remember, we're assuming all the laws are just. So now what can you do, you know, and, and how far would you have to go, you know, to remove that living embodiment of debt, which is now your single mother, your mother who brought you into this world and removed your father out of the picture. Well, here's the answer, and the answer might be, like I said, it's going to be very painful to some of you. Well, you got to look at it like this. You got to look at it that your mother, you know, your mother who's a single mother, you have to look at it at that she abandoned you. She she abandoned you when she pushed your father out of your life. So when she pushed your father out of your life, that's basically the point where she destroyed your future, you know? You know, she destroyed your future. So, so in the future, you do not owe her anything. Since she abandoned the stability that was present with your father there, you in turn, for you to start your own family and for you to be able to take care of your family and actually clean the slate, you know, clean the issue of her being a living debt, just like she abandoned your father, you're going to have to abandon her. And there's a lot of cases, I think there's some cases where this happens, where, you know, a mother pushed away the children's father. And as the children grew up, you know, all that time not being around their father turned to a level of hatred that, you know, that was growing to the point where they could not stand their mother. So they literally, you know, put themselves out of her, you know, they, they took themselves away from being involved with her in any shape or form. So to clean the slate, to actually give your family a chance, you would have to remove your mother from the picture now remember this this only would be a course of action you know if you know it can be proven and you know without a shadow of doubt that you know your mother was responsible for separating and pushing your father out of your life so now you could some people might argue well you could just you know, give her a job, make her the person to take care of the, your, your, you know, your, your children as their grandmother and all that. But, you know, there's still going to be health issues and so on. So if you look at it like that, you know, it's going to cost a lot of money, even if, you know, your, your mother's babysitting your children and so on. You know, you're going to have to pay for health issues and all that. So the the only chance you have, and I know, you know, your children, it would mean that your children would have to grow up without a grandmother. You know what I mean? Your children would have to grow up without a grandmother because you would have to remove yourself from that. And the other thing is, another reason you would have to remove yourself besides the fact that your your mother that's a single mother is a living form of debt and um you know expense actually expenses and debt for you in the future is that what if you know we all know you know women tend to side with women what if there's a little issue that presents itself and she starts to insert herself between your relationship with your 
be it wife or the child, the mother of your children. Now, remember, if she was able to push your father away, what's stopping her from destroying the relationship you have with your present, be it wife or child of your mother, child of your, uh, you know, your mother of your children? So it becomes a high risk thing if you keep her in your life. Sure, your your children won't have a grandmother, but they won't at the same time be put uh, before a high level risk of her placing toxicity and you know uh, a level you know placing a way to break up your family. Because if she was capable of pushing your father away while you were growing up, then what's going to stop her from being a risk to your own family? She was able to push away your father, and he had your blood. You know what I'm saying? He had your blood. You know, he's the other half of you. What's going to stop her from pushing away your wife or getting in the middle or, you know, destroying that family? And, and there's a lot of cases of that happening where, you know, somebody's mom who was a single mother, and remember, she grew up in a state where stability for her is is uh, not having any stability at all. You see, normal is a routine that's repeated over and over again. So her routine, her living routine and her habits were, you know, a broken house. You know what I'm saying? A broken house with where there was no father, no real family structure. So that's normal for your mom that raised you as a single mother. So what so it's gonna be foreign for her to see you with a woman, you know, to see you in a stable relationship, and it's gonna be easier for her to, you know, attempt to destroy that. And subconsciously or consciously because, you know, there's two variables. She doesn't, you know, she doesn't, you having a positive relationship is proof that she failed with your father, you know. And rather than face that, you know, uh, uh, you know rather than face that, she'd rather that you have, you yourself have a broken relationship. You know, that's why you see a lot of, um, I think you see a lot of videos where single mother, you know, still supporting her son and, you know, like showing a sign of happiness as her son or daughter goes through a relationship where it's breaking up, where she says, don't worry, mama's got you, mama's still here. Because if that relationship was to work, it would force her to look in the mirror and see her downfalls and what she did wrong to destroy her own family. You know, because the, the, the truth is this, man. You you watch a lot of these Dr. Phil's, um, you know, The View, any of these dumb talk shows, you know. The truth is this, a relationship is very simple. It is very simple. You know what I'm saying? It's that people, it's that the laws and, you know, uh, and, and you know, I mean, we're, we're in a consumerism society. So, you know, they push things to destroy relationships. The truth is this. If, if a man comes home, you know, they have a home together, they uh, have food, they have shelter, they have safety. You know what I mean? The rest is simple. You know, I've I've said this in a video before. You know, the biggest thing that keeps a relationship together is routine. And 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 if you look at society right now, they're against routine. What do they call routine? That man's predictable, that man's dull, that relationship's boring. No. That's that's what a relationship is. It becomes routine. You know, uh, once routine is established, then you can have trust. You know, us men, you know, we 
we pr and and we both we all notice that the best thing for our family is routine where everything is predictable then it's easier for us to focus on potentially improving it or looking at issues that might occur you know the thing is this a marriage um all these things they're simple you know that guy isn't beating you you come from work or respect each other you, you sit you eat you talk you know if you want to talk and that's it and and that's the thing i think a comedian did something yeah it was bill burr where he said you know all a woman had to do was make her man a sandwich don't talk to him just leave you know what i mean a lot of they pressure this thing where you're in a relationship you got to talk a lot no just being near one another that's a relationship too that she comes home knowing that there's you know her man is in the house they don't need to talk his presence is enough you know that's an another form of the relationship i plan to plan to do a video called signs of a relationship but the thing is this man love love is a combination of lust and all that stuff the truth is this the strongest aspect of a relationship is routine routine breeds trust you know i said this in a previous video a man comes home will eat the food prepared by his wife when he hasn't seen it or looked at it. But you go to a restaurant outside, you're watching them, you know, making sure they didn't do nothing wrong to your meal. So what's going to happen, and like I said, is this. The only way to correct the course of your family and be able to maximize the amount of resources you can put into your family it's going to be you having to separate yourself and completely from your uh, mother who raised you as a single mother. Because if she purposely destroyed the structure of the family you were supposed to have, then that means from that day forth, she, she, it was you were never the main entrance, you know, you were never the main reason she did anything, it was her, her greed, and her, um, you know, her self-fulfilling, you know, you know what I'm saying, or selfishness, and so on, so the day she pushed away your father, and giving you the full experience of having a family, as in knowing both sides of yourself, you know, your, your, your manhood, in this, you know, in your, your mother, you know, both side of that and you and even daughters, you know, for daughters, I'll do a, I'll, turn, I'll do another version of this video, which focuses more on the daughter, you know, but in reality, the day your mother pushed away your father, that's the day she basically abandoned your future. You know, she abandoned your future and put it at a high risk. So, and now she becomes an expense. Notice, in the future, she becomes a high expense, high risk, low reward scenario. You know, you got to take care of her, you know, put money on health bills and all that. That could have gone to your children or your your be it wife or um or the mother of your children or your children or your family in general you know that that's why the whole single mother thing you know when it's done purposely cuz cuz like I said a relationship is very simple you know you that you know this person the 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 father knows the mother the mother knows the father they come, they eat, they sit together, they live together, and you ha they have someone they can trust. I plan to do a video, a separate video on uh, relationships and all that, but basically the day your mother chose to be a single mother over having you 
you know, raising you with a full family was the day she abandoned your future. So since she abandoned your future, once you get older, you have a very major choice to make. Yes, your children will grow up without a without a grandmother, but that grandmother was not, you know, a mother to you. So if she wasn't a mother to you, her own child, by not being a destroyer of the relationship between you and your father, then what will she be to your children? You know, she sh she will be even more destructive. She didn't push those grandkids out. Your the mother of your children did, or your wife, whatever did. So, what's gonna hold her back from inputting? negative aspects into your children you know so what happens is is this and it happens a lot where you could you could google it you could find the statistics that's why i don't mention a lot of stats in my videos and all that because dude you have google you could search it you could research it you know what i'm saying but what happens is once these children and you know they put all this crap online oh forgive your mother forgive forgive this and that that's weakness man you, you don't forgive when someone purposely does something negative to you you don't forgive because you you know you you know you're not angry or bitter you just remember that aspect so you don't allow it to happen again so if this quote unquote your proud single mother chose to push your father away what you think she's gonna do and will be capable of doing to your family. You know what I mean? So the only way to start your family, it's going to be painful, is that you're going to have to separate yourself if you haven't already, because a, a lot of children from broken homes do that. Once they figure out that, yo, it was moms that broke the family. And then all the negative energy they've been put about their father for years, you know, that could have been positive. They pushed themselves away because all the memories with their mother is the destruction of their family structure in their household. So what's going to happen for you is you, you're going to have to make a choice. My kids can not have a grandmother and actually know what it means to be a part of a caring family structure or they could have a grandmother who's promoting the fact that she was a single mother who's promoting the fact that she destroyed a family structure as a positive so what's going to happen to your your daughter you know your son what what you think's going to happen to him Especially your son, what's going to happen to him is that he's going to fall for it too. He's going to become a father that's, you know, pushed away from his children. I mean, grandma, grandma did it. You know, she was all right. And look at you. Look at dad. Dad's all right. So that's what's going to happen. And as for your daughter, well, she's going to repeat what grandma did. A lot of times people ask, well, how come... You know, she was raised, he was raised in a family, and he turned out this way. Well, when your grandmother, you know, was chose to break a family and she was around you while you were being raised, there's a high risk she influenced you to be that way. You know what I mean? And, and there's more to it. I plan to do a video on why the nuclear family is destructive to begin with but the truth is this to stay on the course is that you're gonna have to decide you know and that that's if you haven't already left because there, there's some people they will leave their single mother who raised them after all that pain and suffering then introduce her to their children you know you you got away from her but now all of a sudden you have children you want to bring her into those children's life, you know, and put the same risk of pain she puts you through to your own children, you know what I'm saying, so, you know, it's a very, 
It's a very painful choice to think about, but it's one that you will have to make or think about doing because it's it's the fate of your children. You know, what will you do? What will you do when you know your your mother who raised you and chose to be a single mother, you know what I mean? Her you know, her way of avoiding guilt, avoiding responsibility is to destroy your family. You know what I mean? And then having her there present when, uh, you know, she's nothing more than an image of your destruction and making it seem like a normal thing in front of your own children, what you think's going to happen. So it's a very painful decision in two ways. Now, for those people, like I said, who already, you know, left their uh, single mother after the toxic relationship, you know what I'm saying? You should avoid introducing her to your future children. And as for those that haven't left, well, you got to make a choice. You keep your mother around your children and you keep her past. You bring her past to the forefront of the present and risk destroying your own family. So, you know what I mean? It's, it's that way. The only way to reset the legacy and fix things, and remember, like I said, I'm assuming all the laws are correct. I'm assuming the laws are righteous between men and women. Then you would have to remove your, your uh, destructive mother, who was a single mother, out of the picture. You know what I mean? Not a lot of people, like I said, man, I'm a... I'm a very deep person, man. I look at things, even though what I'm saying is, you know, a painful thing to say, but I look at it with uh, absolute logic. And when you look at absolute logic, you got to remove toxins. You know, you got to remove the toxins from around you. And if your mother was the worst toxin in your life, and I plan to do a video called Forgive Your Father plan to do a video called forgive your father it's a video that will go into detail of why you should forgive your father you know if he wasn't the one that destroyed the family and even if he was for example if your father was a criminal or if your father was uh, abusive to your mother you know what I mean? Or a lot more things. You have to ask yourself this question. I'll do the video. Is that who chose him? He didn't, you know, who chose him? Who chose to be pregnant by him? You know, that there's a price. Nothing is free, man. Even the gift of life isn't free. The gift of life might come with some suffering. Depending on who gave you life and who allowed you who allowed them to give you life. So that'll be another video I'll do. But like I said, uh, you're going to have to make a choice. You keep your your mother who raised you and chose to be a single mother around your children and your family and risk destroying your family and your legacy. Or you push her away and uh, abandon her like she abandoned your future. You know what I'm saying? And leave her behind. And then you don't pay the excessive expenses. Because I've seen it. I've seen a lot of older women outside on the streets. Because at some point their own children look at them and see the destruction they had to face. And just say, yo moms, you weren't really my mom. You know, you, you destroyed me. You destroyed my relationship. We could have had it with a father over what? Nothing. You know, so I don't want you in my life. You're a cons You're a living reminder that I will. I never had a family, you know, so it's a really painful choice you got to make. You know, that's if you're starting a family and the laws are right, you know. As you know, with this uh, philosophy, uh, I want to thank uh, Donovan Sharp for saying it. You know, as you know, with the crimson, crimson, uh, 
capsule crimson pill philosophy and uh the mg town tau philosophy you know no cohabitation no marriage none of that but i'm just saying like i said if the laws were all right you st even if the laws were all correct between man and woman at the end of the day the sins of your single mother would risk destroying your family. Well, this has been Hold the Truth Hostage, where if the truth was so important, would it negotiate with lies? Peace. All right. All right, guys. And remember, please support uh, Semptagen. We need to take this uh, red pill message and, um, you know, more logical outlook and fiction. It can't be just them selling this false, you know, story with fiction. We have to sell the truth. All right. Please support Semptagen. All you got to do is put five bucks and share it, you know. They said the truth won't survive beside the lies that maintain the decaying faces of...